guys welcome back to my channel my name is Anastasia and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about some products that I recently ordered from Soultanicals well not recently I ordered them a while ago and they got here and I just have not been in the mood to do my hair so these are the products right here these are the liter size so I got some really huge sizes that should last me forever. I got the small size of them as well and when these are done then I can move on to the liter sizes. This is their new Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask Treatment. So it has Ayurvedic herbs in there obviously and of course you guys already know I love Soultanicals. This is not a sponsored review. I just always buy Soultanicals. And I also got this Twist Assist Supernatural Fragilistic Stressful <laughs> Stress-Free Alafrocious twisting cream. So, you know, these names are always like a mouthful, but they're super fun. So, yeah, I'm gonna be using this to deep condition my hair and I'm gonna be using this to twist. I also have some products that I've had for a while. So, this is the Wash and Comb Detangling Foam. So, I'm gonna be using this as my shampoo. I'm gonna be using the Frizz Wiz Curl Defining Leave In as my leave in conditioner. And finally, I'll be using the Platinum Roots Hair and Scalp Oil. The thing is, I have not done my hair in pretty much a month. It's just a few days shy of a month. And it is so dry. And it's every, it's like every day I want to do it and I just keep putting it off because I am dreading how horrible it's going to be to detangle it. I'm pretty sure there's some parts that are locking. I've just not really been in the mood to do my hair and I'm sure you guys can understand with everything that's going on with this whole coronavirus coronavirus I'm, I'm currently not working so i'm at home now i'm also trying to exercise trying to read more watching more tv catching up on my movies so just pretty much anything that will take my mind off what's going on in the black community many persons don't like talking about their mental health um getting help doesn't mean you're crazy and it does not mean that you're going off the rails um if you need help there's absolutely nothing wrong in getting it so that's the first thing i want to say if you aren't feeling too great about everything that's going on and it's really overwhelming just talk to your doctor or if you want to even talk to a therapist just having someone to talk to can really help you to feel so much better. Okay, I wasn't really planning on doing any pre-pooing, but I remember how much I love this as a pre-poo. And this is a melanin multi-use softening leave-in conditioner. Okay guys, so I ended up switching over to the exotic Kool-Aid Minty Guava and Kiwi shampoo. I just feel like the Soltanical shampoo wasn't able to clean my scalp as well as I needed it to because I have a ton of buildup. Yeah, I had to bring in the big guns. And this shampoo from the main choice always leaves my scalp feeling really nice and tingly and also super clean. So I'm going to go rinse this out and then I'll be back to put in the deep conditioner. I can definitely tell that my hair is super clean right now because normally when I part my hair, if the roots are still like pressed down, that means that there's buildup on my scalp so the roots kind of lay flat for just about this much of the roots like right here. So when my hair is actually really clean, they're all like standing up, they're not touching on each other and that's when I know it's not greasy or dirty. So like I said, I'm going to be using this Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask Treatment by Soultanicals. I've used it already off camera. It's really rich and creamy and it's thick but not too thick. This deep conditioner is so good. Like I've used it before, but it just feels oh, even more amazing. I think because I just clarified my hair, it feels even better than when I used it first. It is so moisturizing. It's full of slip. Oh my god. I wish you guys could touch it. I know lots of persons have been talking smack about Soltanicals. So basically, a lot of persons placed orders. I think it was... I want to say it was Black Friday. I can't remember. I think it was Black Friday. Yeah, that was probably the last holiday, Black Friday or something. And she got so many orders. Like everybody wanted to order. The first go, it was sold out. I myself didn't even get it on the first go, but I have my notifications turned on 
so on instagram so once i got the notification that it was going to go live like i set my alarm and i just sat there and kept refreshing the page for like 10 minutes before it went live and i got all that i wanted and then after that she did another sale i think that's when i got the liter stuff so she really tries to make enough for everyone but persons are so mad that they can't get them like oh we went on the site it was sold out blah 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 and Here's the problem I have with that. I get that persons can be frustrated because you know you really want to try something and it makes you so mad that you're not able to get it. That is totally normal. What I don't get is why persons are like emailing her, making her and, and her being Ao, the owner of Sotanicals, saying all this negative stuff about her and her brand because they weren't able to get something in a sale. I always say this to myself like as black people we are our own worst enemy you know like if this was a, a white owned company maybe nobody would be saying all the stuff that they're saying right now but this is a small woman owned black owned company is there stuff that needs to be changed so she can market more products yes but she has always explained time and again why it is so important to her to be the sole owner of her business. I'm sure you guys all know of companies that start out small and before you know it, they get investors who come in and take over and change product formulations and then products don't work like they used to. Like this happens all the time. And that is why I love that she wants to keep her business small because she know once you start getting people other people involved in your business then you don't have as much say and control over it so she's trying to figure out how to best keep her products as awesome as they are while not selling out her company and I guess persons can't understand that and so they're being so rude to her she did a live and I felt so pissed because I don't think anybody should have to go through that like if you are that mad at her and upset at her that you can't order, go buy from another brand. You know, it's so simple. She also sells stuff in Target and I think she's now in CVS. So what is the reason? What is the reason? What, what, was, the reason? what was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? What is the reason for carrying on like this? I've seen many companies, Shea Moisture being one of those companies, they start off small and then they get investors and then the ingredients change on the product and a lot of them never work as well as they used to. Ingredients, I always rave about her ingredients. She literally is ordering products from Africa. She doesn't like just buy local stuff or watered down stuff. She is going like directly to the source of stuff all over India, wherever she needs to get them from and she imports these stuff. And all the products are made by hand. So this is definitely more of a boutique brand if you want to view it that way. So it's not like a bulk brand that's churning out products and you're just going to get them like that. Sometimes it's just kind of like being patient, you know, eventually you'll get it. I always wanted to get liter stuff and some of the times I never had the cash to order it. And then when I did have the cash, she didn't have the liter sale. And that was another thing she was saying like, you know, I'm going to stop selling liter size products like these ones because persons don't want to wait and they're sending her awful emails like why the hell are you buying from this lady if you're gonna like make her life a living hell she always says how long everything is gonna take she gives you the timeline she sends like emails letting you know what's going on when it's gonna be shipping and people are still so crazy and miserable and awful and just being trash human beings that they're making this lady's life a living hell and it really pisses me off because I absolutely love her and I think she's amazing. She's one of the nicest persons to work with. Maybe the next time she has a sale, try to set your alarms or whatever. And if you miss out, I promise you she's going to run the products again. Just give it like a few weeks. She has sales all the time, like probably more than any other brand. Like most brands wait for like Black Friday Boxing Day. She does sales like on her birthday. All the time she does sales so just be patient and like I said a lot of her products are now available in Target so maybe if she's releasing a new product you won't be able to get that in Target but you can try other products locally so I just rinse that deep conditioner out and my curls are perfection my hair feels so good so I'm gonna move on to twisting my hair and I'm using the this really long name I'm just gonna call it the twist assist cream from Sultanicals it smells just like bubble gum or candy or something. I'm just gonna separate my hair in four sections. I'm actually gonna just put some of my Frizz Whiz Curl Defining Leave-In 
just to get some more slip in my hair since I rinsed that deep conditioner out. Oh, this smells really good by the way. Okay, so now that my hair is separated, I'm gonna start on this section right here. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of my Platinum Roots Oil on top. This is what I have and I was kind of freaking out and then I remember like you know what it's a whole month of hair I feel like maybe it's still a little bit too much for a month if it was just twists like this and I let them in for a month it would have been perfect nothing would have happened but once I like do a twist out and just leave my hair out and no detangling no moisturizing nothing that's gonna happen. Hi guys, so it has been over a week since I did these twists, so I'm just gonna do the takedown and I'll be using the Platinum Roots Hair and Scalp Oil by Sultanicals. My hair does feel really soft, it feels very moisturized. And just to recap, this is a product that I use to twist my hair. It's a Soltanicals Twist Assist Cream. That's all I'm gonna call it because that name is super long. Um, it smells fantastic and I only needed to use a tiny bit. So it's basically still full. I don't know if you can see it on camera there. So this is the leave-in I use to style my hair. The Frizz Whiz Curl Defining Leave-In and the Twist Assist Cream. Now this is very moisturizing. It is lightweight, it isn't very heavy, but it's still creamy. So I really enjoyed using this leave-in. And then I used the Twist Assist Cream. And I think this is the first time I've tried this cream. It feels really good on my hair. Um, this is a brand new jar. I think it's a new product, but I want to say they may have released it some time ago in the past and I used it. I could be wrong, so feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But it sounds familiar like something I have used from them before. But nevertheless, I love using it this time. My hair felt so soft and moisturized. So if you are looking for a black owned business to support, especially now that this whole COVID-19 situation is going on, definitely support small black owned businesses so that they'll come out on the other side of this whole situation, right side up and don't have to close their doors. The deep conditioner that I use is the Glide and Go Deep Ayurvedic Fenugreek Mask Treatment. So it is a mouthful, but it has lots of amazing ingredients. I have used it a few times, so it's almost gone. I'll just give you guys a brief summary of some of the ingredients in here it has fenugreek obviously licorice root neem powder pro vitamin b5 black seed oil chamomile cumin hydrolyzed quinoa protein so if you are protein sensitive there is protein in here and it does have um, extra virgin olive oil and other stabilizers and stuff like that so yeah i really liked using this and like i told you guys i have a liter size of it here. I also have a liter size of their healthy here hibiscus deep conditioner and I just got this one last week. I ordered it a while ago. Um, this is the 
the Aquamane leave-in conditioner. So I'm fully stocked with Soul Tonicals for the next little while. So I highly recommend that you guys go check them out. If you are new around here, you can follow me on Instagram at NK Natural. And another thing, if you are outside of the US and you want to shop in the US, you can visit Relay Shop to get a US shipping address, which is free, and then you only pay whenever you use their service, like getting products shipped back to you if you are in Canada, etc. So I've been using Relay Shop for for many many years now so definitely check them out I love using their service their customer service is top-notch and it's also a black owned business so I really hope you guys enjoy this video slash rant and yeah let me know what you guys think of my hair in the comment section below if you're new around here definitely hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye